Hey guys, welcome back to Life Beyond 18 Cats here at Life with 18 Cats. Doodlebug says hi. You say hi? Yeah. She has been um very lovey and wanting to be held for the last like 15 minutes. <laughs> and I thought she was over it. And then while we were doing the intro, she decided she wanted up again. So we got Doodle Uppies. Yeah, Doodle wanted Uppies. Can you say hi? Say hello, everybody. Welcome to the show. Oh, hey, Cass. <laughs> hi jenna hi kim how are you i'm good how are you i'm okay yeah. okay hanging in you know good <laughs> yeah <laughs> and i got feline yelling at me too so anyway we're all hungry you're making the cats hungry you're making us hungry <laughs> <laughs> oh so in the kitchen with me tonight i have got obviously doodlebug and feline i've got marbles who's supervising and over on one of the chairs on the table we've got pebbles over there and i think that's everybody back here right now um <coughs> so we are doing uh we are doing another hello fresh because we all know how much i love my hello fresh and um i'm going to show you guys what we're doing real quick we are doing a chicken sausage rigatoni yeah that's what we're doing uh so how is everybody in chat tonight? How's everybody doing? Cat friends, hello, how are you doing, hon? Cat D, hi from California, mid-afternoon. I have the day off and sitting outside in lovely cloudy weather while my car is getting serviced. Forgot my headphones, but we'll try to listen as long as it doesn't rain. <laughs> Catitude, hey guys. <laughs> Deborah, hello, fellow foodies. Hello, Deborah. Lovey Anne, hello, lovely people. Mark, hi, everyone. The weekend is almost here. Yes, it is. Is it vegan again today? Nope, not vegan today. Nope. We'll do it again. Cat, hello. Hey, everyone else. Happy Friday. Yes, ma'am. Hello. Jenna, <laughs> happy Friday. Happy Friday. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> um. Cat, my new kitty who had a broken tooth removed on Tuesday was peeing pink this morning, but the vet says it's likely just stress. You know, and if the vet's not too worried about it, I wouldn't be either. Just make sure the baby's comfortable, but I'm sure you're doing a great job. Nanya, hi. <laughs> Glad you're here, hon. Deborah, hi, Doodlebug. Yeah, Doodlebug, Deborah says hi, honey. Or, yeah, Deborah says hi, and Catitude says hi. I'm trying to keep track and look up at the same time. Yep. <laughs> hi, Ken, how you doing, hon? Is she a rag doll? Um, you know what, Mark? Actually, that's a good question. I actually do believe that she might have some in her lineage. Now, is she because she, she doesn't look necessarily rag doll, and there is some differences between her and an actual rag doll. But I do think because of the way she is, and she's that she very much displays that floppy rag doll, you know, position when you pick her up. So she um, I think she might have it somewhere in her lineage, but yeah, that's probably just a like a tad bit. Nanya hungry now. I know I'm, I'm starving. So <laughs> I love Marbles now that I know his story. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah, Marbles is a Marbles is a wonderful baby. He's such a good baby. He just, you know what? Listen, one of the things I forgot to tell you about Marbles is Marbles is one of those cats where when he when he wants attention, trust me, you know. But for the most part, he's like, nope, I, he doesn't really like being manhandled or anything. But boy, he lets you know when he wants attention. And that's, there's no denying that. But he's a sweet boy. Yeah, ah. it was nice. It was nice in the members stream when you did the deep dive on marbles. You yeah, know, I, I'm enjoying hearing some of the backstories. I'm grateful to be a, a member. You know? Yeah, I'm really, I really, I really hope everybody's enjoying the deep dives on the kitties. Um, I know that, you know, you can get kind of a, a good idea of each of the cats when you if you go back and look at the meet and greets from very from the, when the channel first started um the deep dives are just basically going into a lot more detail and a lot more um a lot more storytelling when it comes to them and some of them yeah they some of them have most of them actually have really cool backstories so uh anyways okay so let's just get into this shall we guys Let's do this because I'm hungry and I want to make dinner. Make marbles. <laughs> you guys. We're doing it. Yes, we are. 
All right, so we got our brown bag, like always. And in that brown bag, we have got our rigatoni. We have got our beautiful bell pepper. We have got our green onions. We have got our oh, cream sauce. And we've got our, oh my gosh, I can't, I don't, it's on my, I know my glasses are on my head. I know. Italian seasoning. We've got our Parmesan cheese. And we've got tomato paste. Dom. So that's all the ingredients. Oh, yeah. And the sweet Italian chicken sausage. So we've got everything that we need. Kim, I have to interrupt you because this was very funny. Catitude. The only good thing oh. about McDonald's is that we got marbles. <laughs> <laughs> I like that catitude. Listen, listen. The fries and the chocolate shakes are really good. <laughs> I know you're not going to agree with me, and that's okay. <laughs> but yes, yes, the, the best thing to ever come out of McDonald's, I think, is marbles. I just thought your cooking lives are always on Friday. <laughs> they are on Fridays. Yes, sir. My cat Fury looks and acts like a rag doll, but he's not purebred. He has green eyes, but he but has but his face has that babyish look ragdolls have. Yeah, exactly. That's um I know it's bad for me, catitude. Stop it. I know. I never said it was good for you. I just said it tastes good. There's a difference. Chocolate's not good for you either, but boy, let me tell you what I have. I have one of these. It's bad That's for me. It's for Easter. <laughs> Well, actually, this is just one I can have right now. I'll get another one for you. Oh, that's dessert tonight. <laughs> that's right. That's right. You know what? It's not good for me, but numb. <laughs> okay. So let's start with this. So we are going to bring a pot of water to Cadbury. That's right, Nanya. I love it. Listen, I can't. Listen, I used to be able to, like, just scarf down tons of those no matter what. But, um. Nowadays, I eat one and I'm good for like a week because <laughs> they're so they're so sweet. They're so sweet, but um, but I love those things still. I will still eat one of them once in a while, but yeah. Okay, so we're gonna bring a pot of water to a boil. So I'm gonna turn that on and let that start warming up for our noodle. All right, and then we said we're gonna core, de-seed, and dice the bell pepper. And we're going to do it the easy way that I learned how. For those of you that don't know, you can literally grab the stem, push it in, and then pull it back out. Done. What in the heck? What kind of Harry Potter wizardry is that? Look at that. Cord and done in one. Done. Yeah. So the internet's not all bad because I learned that from the internet. Okay, nice. Grab another one. Oh, so. I should probably take this sticker off because you know what I'll do. I'll start I'll start cutting this and just forget the stickers around there. Yeah. Okay. So we are going to dice the bell pepper. So let's just get this cut up to a point where we can dice it. And I love, listen, I like bell peppers, but I especially like, and I don't know, I don't know, maybe somebody in the chat knows this. But it seems to me that the red ones, the yellow ones, and the orange ones, um, they're sweeter. I mean, is that true? I don't know if it's just a thing, just a thing that's just like in your mind, but it just seems like they're sweeter than the green ones. They and are so sweeter. Sure. Are they? They're definitely yeah. sweeter. Yeah, I think, I mean, I've grown peppers. I actually have a couple of plants out in the garden now. And the green ones are like, you know, more earthy. Like, I don't know. Yeah. They're just like a heartier taste. And uh, the yellow and the orange are really sweet to me. You know, yeah, they taste I really love sweet. I love them. Yeah, I agree. Me too. I'm glad, I'm glad you agree because I'm like, I don't know if that's just a, a mind thing or if it's true, but yeah, no, I love the I love the colored the, the colored ones like the red, orange, and yellow because they are sweeter. Yeah, a couple people in chat, Nanya's agreeing. Yes, they're sweeter. Yeah. Good. Yep. Good then. It's not just me. Yay. Yeah, Deborah said the same thing I said. Um, the green ones, they can be bitter, I think is yeah. the word. It was a typo, but it's just like earthy, bitter. It's like a little stronger of a taste. Yeah, exactly. 
they have their own thing going on and their own place in the kitchen. But they're, you know, what, listen, I will still, I'm still a huge fan of just taking and cutting up a green pepper and grabbing some like ranch dip and just having that an entire green pepper by myself. I will do that any day. I'm a big fan of like vegetable trays and stuff. So, all right. So we got that. Now we are going to cut up our green onions. All right. Get the ends off these. Knock those. And I don't know if I ever told you guys this, but when you cut these up, it actually tells you that you need to separate the whites from the greens. Listen, I don't know where the white part ends and the green part starts. So I just kind of cut it and then I split it in half. Because I really don't care if it's supposed to be green and it's actually what I don't care. Like I said, I'm pretty, I'm pretty like lenient in the kitchen. I'm not one of those people that's like, no, you can't have that because it's green. No, I don't care. I don't care. As long as I like it and that's who's eating it, cool. So I usually take it down to, if you look at these, wherever it starts splitting off, I usually take it down to that for the whites and then the rest of it, I, I, I consider that the greens. I don't know. So let's get these all chopped up real quick. And if I don't talk sometimes, it's because I'm usually when I'm cutting things, because I'm trying to focus on not cutting my fingers off. So I don't think that'd be a good look for a video. I mean, might be, I don't know, drama, but okay, come on, stop here. No, noodles, I can't pick you up right now. Okay, so now, while that's boil or coming up to a boil, in a big pan, we're going to heat up a drizzle of oil, and guess what? We got a new bottle of oil, guys. Yep. Did somebody just, who is docking? Really? Dawkins, uh, old 80s metal band. Yay. All right, there's our oil. So now I'm going to turn this burner on and let this oil start, start warming up. Because then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bell pepper and I'm going to put that in there and let that kind of start getting softened up. A hair metal, yes, Ken. An old hair metal band. Listen, I was. I'm listen. I'm a metal fan. I I like, but I'm a, I'm more of an old like docking, you know, back in the '80s, '80s, you know, hair metal bands. I love those. Yeah, Wanda. <laughs> I think you're probably right. Yeah. Oh, too funny. I am grabbing a spatula real quick and my paper towels. Luckily. I can get paper. Listen, like I told you before, you guys see how much paper, how many paper towels I go through just in a live stream. I go through a lot. Didn't Doc and do the theme song for Nightmare on Elm Street 3? You know what? I don't know, actually. If somebody wants to look that up, let me know. Because, yeah, they might have. Now that, I, now, that you, now that I think about it, that might be them. But, um, yeah, luckily Sam's Club's got really good deals on paper towels because I can get, like, Kim has good taste in music. Yeah. I do. Listen, if you looked at my, <laughs> um, is metal epic? Yes, Wanda, it is epic. Shut up. Um, so if you looked at my, my playlist, like on like Spotify or something, it's, you would see that I go everywhere from Luke and Bach, Texas to Pantera to, um, Godsmack to Eminem to, Yo, know, just you name it. I mean, I was well, I listen to literally everything. So, but most of the stuff that I listen to is gonna be back from like the 80s, maybe some 90s, but mostly 80s. I love 80s. So I I'm one of those ones that listens to the old 80, the oldie station. Yes, Dokken did the Dream Warriors the theme song tonight. All right, cool. Yeah, that's good to know. I did I wasn't sure. Yes, Dream Warriors Catitude. You guys are so smart. I love it. You guys find shit out really, really fast. I love it. So now, oh, I'm gonna, okay, come on, thank you. 
All right. Perhaps you're born too late and I need to know them. Maybe. Dokken was kind of a, let's see. Dokken was kind of like, it was, it was a, it was a pretty big metal band back then, but it wasn't as big as say like, um, Guns N' Roses or Metallica. It wasn't as big as them. So I think there's a lot of people that might have gotten through there without, you know, if you were born in like the 90s or something, you probably might not know who Dokken is. So you gotta be a true 80s child. Led Zeppelin, yeah. And then you're born in 67. Really? And okay, well, if you didn't listen to that kind of music back then, then there you go. Nobody's gonna judge you for that. Right, guys? No judging. All right, so the oil is heated up. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding these into here. I got the noodles in the water. So those are boiling. I'm going to turn that down so it doesn't boil over. We certainly don't need that right now. No, no, boiling over. No, no, no. Okay, we're going to lift the lid a little bit. All right. I set the lid on the counter so now the counter is all wet from the moisture. There we go. All right. So now. No, 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 we're not doing that. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Just can't have the lid on there, I guess. So, like I said, we're going to let these start getting warmed up, softened up. While those are cooking. And as well as, I think we're done with this. <laughs> So, I don't know we're not done with that because I got to put this open. I know you guys have got, I swear to God, the way I do this, like, holy diver, right on. I just happened to see that warrant. Oh, my God, Ken, you're killing me here. You guys, I'm sure you guys just absolutely cringe every time I'm doing this because I don't use a scissors or anything. I'm just, like, running around here with my knife, just doing whatever. Cat, cars ready. Have a great evening. Cat, you too. Be safe. And we will see you later, hon. All right. Come on. Listen, this is going to go badly one day. I know. it, But I don't have like a, I don't have a kitchen scissors. I have my crafting scissors and stuff. I'm not using my crafting scissors in here. I'll have to get, listen, I will get a kitchen scissors one of these days so you guys don't have to worry. Because, yeah, if it was me sitting there, I would be like, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> oh. Okay, now, waiting for this, turn it up a little bit, <clears throat> nice thing about the bell peppers is that they don't take long, so it doesn't take long for those to start softening up and start, you know, getting nice and, nice and warm through, oh, come on. Don't turn. Don't turn, please. So, because the next thing we're going to do, once those are nice and nice and cooked up, we're going to put the sausage in there, and we're going to put the onion whites in there and get that all cooked together. I was just reading Ken's comment. Why does Bon Jovi make me think of Kevin Bacon and Tremor specifically? You know, I don't know. Why is that? <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a musical conversation today. <laughs> no, it is. I, I like it. I'm yeah. Looking, just like I'm like, what are you guys talking about? Because yeah. I, I love poison. Ken, you are just bringing back my whole childhood in here. I love it. So I'll tell you a story about Bon Jovi. So when I was 16 in in Minnesota, there's a place called Wagon Wheels. And what it is, the place where you can go and you can do, um, do like wagon rides, wagon hay rides. And it was like the big thing back then. So a lot of people wanted to have their birthdays at the wagon wheels, you know, place, whatever, and do the hay rides, whatever, because it was so much fun. Well, I also got the Slippery Wind Wet um, cassette tape for my 16th birthday that year. And so Bon Jovi will always remind me, every time I hear any, any song off that cassette or that album, um, 
it will always remind me of my birthday at Wagon Wheels because that was the first time I had my Walkman with me and I had that thing playing the entire night on my, in my little headphones <coughs> and um, just had such a great time with that. So yeah, so Bon Jovi will always remind me of that one thing. I just want, want to give a shout out to Carol Molina, founder of Clean Solutions here in New York. She's dealing with a severe... A severe I'm getting hit by a cat saying positive. Oh, well, I hope she's okay. Yeah, sending positive energy out to that. Yeah, definitely. I hope she's okay. That's got that I know that hurts sometimes because I trust me, I've had that happen. Luckily, <clears throat> um, luckily not to the point where I've had any kind of like scratches on my cornea or anything, but no, I've gotten hit in the in the eye with, with it by a cat before. So that's yeah, that's not fun. All right. So those are nice and nice and cooked up. So I am going to add the sausage into here. And then I am going to put the onion whites in there. And then I'm going to sit here and I'm going to make my own music chopping this up. I would talk over this, but you're not going to hear me. All the little kitties, all the little kitties, all the little kitties, all the little kitties. All the kitties. <laughs> There's your music, Kim. <laughs> I think I have both parts, actually. That might be a little bit longer. Keep your company a minute. <laughs> all the little kitties, all the little kitties. And if you like it, then you should have put a collar on it. All the little kitties. The <laughs> you're fun. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I put that um, I I actually uh, I shared that short on my Facebook page, and I tagged my old supervisor, the one that actually gave me the second line of that song. And he oh, thought, that's he fun. Thought, he thought that was incredibly cute that I that I did that. Oh yay! I'm glad. <laughs> yeah. So now, don't forget, guys. Next week is gonna be. There's going to be a lull in the action because next week I will be working. So we won't have, we won't be doing, um, we won't be doing game night. We won't be doing dinner night next Friday and Thursday just because I will not, yeah, I won't be home in time for that. Oh, that's funny, Kim. Nanya said that they had to look to see if you were actually singing when I was playing the <laughs> drop. <laughs> see, I'm not the only one who thinks it's funny. <laughs> I, know, I think it's adorable. <laughs> okay, so. That is pretty much nice and cooked through. And this is this is actually a really super easy one again, um, because again, we're literally almost done with this earth. So this is not gonna, this is not this is not a difficult one. This is not like one that takes a lot of time and effort. It's super easy, it's super fast. Um, so okay, so while that's cooking, we're gonna add the oh, where's the little notch? There it is. Um, we're gonna add the Italian seasoning. Okay, and the tomato paste. I'm gonna find the little notch again. Is that it? Oh, okay, we're gonna do it this way. I know, I'm using the knife. Made a notch for myself, yeah. All right, so we're gonna put the tomato paste in here. Maybe. Oh my God. Listen, squeezing tomato paste out of these little pouches is not always fun. Just because it's so thick. So, tomato paste. And seasoning, tomato paste, and some sugar. Hold on. We got sugar. Sugar. Hold up. Hi, 
the bottom. What the doodle book? I can't, I can't pick you up right now, pumpkin. Nope, can't do it. Okay, so the pour in a quarter of a cup of plain water. Okay, grab my handy dandy measuring cup. Okay, some water. Pour a cup of water. All right. Now it says to bring that to a simmer and cook for one minute. First, we gotta get it all mixed together. Do it about I can't pick you up right now, honey. No, I will pick you up in a little bit. Yes, I will. I promise. You know I will. I know how to go, pretty girl. She's just she's standing at my feet right now, hitting me with her tail, trying to make sure I I have you know that she has my attention. Marbles, how are you doing over there, dude? Huh? Okay. Now we are going to add. Uh, where's the notch? There's no notch up there. No, we gotta make our own notch, guys. All right, made a notch. Maybe. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So now <clears throat> I'm going to dump this in here. I know. Hello. Do I see you, honey? I'm not ignoring you, baby girl. I just can't pick you up right now. You got to hang on, honey. I know. I will pick you up again. I promise I will. You know that. Yeah, we will do it again. I will pick you up. Just let me finish what I'm doing and then we'll pick you up, okay? So I put the cream sauce in there. And then, I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Turn that off. Those are nice and done. So, stir this up. And now it says to get a tablespoon of Butter. Butter. All right, some butter. My lord, I know, I see you. Don't, don't go in the fridge. Don't go in the fridge. No, no, you can't go in the fridge, honey. No, no. Don't go in the fridge, baby girl. It's cold in there. No, you don't want to go in there. It's cold, honey. So right before stream, Sherlock was out here. Unfortunately, I had to put Sherlock out front because Sherlock is a 10-pound cat. So just keep that in mind when I tell you what he did. I'm standing here talking to Jenna, and all of a sudden, Sherlock pulled an Oswald and jumped up like he wanted to, wanted to jump and like climb me. But he jumped up, and one claw went right into my belly. And like I said, 10-pound cat, he latched on. And I dang near lost a chunk out of my stomach. And he wouldn't stop. He just wanted to he wanted to climb me. And I'm like, sure, like you can't climb me. And he wouldn't stop doing it. So I had no choice but to put him up front while we're doing this because I had, yeah, no. It would have been funny if he saved that for the stream and then we all could have seen it. Yeah, no, it's, it's not funny. It hurts. I know. I'm teasing I lost, you. I lost skin. <laughs> I found a big scratch on my leg um, just this afternoon, and I was like, where did that come from? And I had to think a minute, but little miss, she's old. You know, she's a senior cat. And right. she, I've been taking her to the vet and, you know, getting her fluids because she's just, you know, she's going yeah. a little senile and she doesn't jump as well, etc. So anyway, she... The other day I was sitting down and she jumped off of my leg onto something else, but I guess she dug in her back claws a little bit because yeah. her her yeah. jump was off and uh ouch. And I was like, Oh, oh, she did draw blood, you know. I didn't notice it right away, but <laughs> yep. oh yeah, they do that, they do that to me. Like I said, I mean, one of these days, maybe um like when, when the weather gets a little bit better and you know it's time like shorts time, I will show you guys what my legs look like. My legs are tore up. From either them trying to climb me or, like you said, sitting on my lap and then deciding they wanted to take off. Um, I've actually got, 
I, I, was, I was telling Jenna this the other day too. Um, I've actually got, so sure, our big girl was sleeping on my stomach one night and I don't know what happened that scared him, but he decided to Scooby-Doo off of me when he ran. And I now have a couple of big old scratches that go, they're, they're actually now they're scars. Cause I woke up the next morning, not realizing that he had done any damage, but I woke up, sat up out of bed, went to do this with my shirt. And when I did that, it pulled off my stomach. I looked down and realized there was blood on my shirt. I looked up my shirt and yeah, he had scratched it deep enough to where now I have these, these, uh, these scars across my stomach where he got me. And it's not bad. That one, that one was probably one of the worst ones. I like how you call it. He scooby dude across me. <laughs> well, yeah, because you know when it was so cute. Out, in, the, in the cartoons, he does that little ch -ch -ch and then yes. runs. Yeah, yes. that's what that's what I call the Scooby Doo run. <laughs> I'm like, that's my skin. Ouch. All right, guys. So what I did was I just drained the noodles, and then I put them in here with the sauce and the the, the um, sausage and everything, and I'm just stirring it up so they're nice and good and coated. Man, listen, like I said, this was a super easy one. This only, this took us, what, less than, less than a half an hour? It took, I think, maybe 20 minutes to do this because we were talking for a good couple, you know, a couple of minutes before we even started making the food. So now I am going to, and this is, this is only because it's just me here. So, um, I will, this says, you know, put this on afterwards once you plate it up for everybody, which I would, if somebody else was eating dinner with me, I would totally do that. But because it's just me eating dinner here, I will put this in here now and let it start melting into the food. And I will also add the green onions in there too, or the, the little, whatever, chives, whatever you want to call them at this point. All right, that goes in the sink, that goes in the garbage. We got our garbage bag. Wipe off this stuff. This has got to go out. Push that in right now. I'm going to take this out, turn that off, put the bean protector back on. Bean protector, this up here. Grab me a plate. Stir this up and get that Parmesan cheese nice and blended in. So I've been trying to show you guys, you know, different menu items, um, things that, you know, are a little bit more in depth, a little more detailed. Obviously we have done some vegan meals. Um, I'm going to look into a couple of just vegetarian meals as well to just kind of make, make sure that we're crossing the whole, you know, the whole gamut of these things. Um, and I wanted to eat, also include some of the really quick meals so you guys can see how quick we can put these together. Like I said, this from start to finish took maybe 25 minutes. Really super easy, really super fast. If you and, you know, if, if it's you and somebody else or just you and you're doing the two person meals, obviously, I'm going to show you what this looks like, guys. That's what it looks like. And there is more than enough. This is a big old pan. There is more than enough in here for two people and even to have seconds. I'm going to grab a spoon for this. Slate some of this up real quick. And this is also one of those ones that if you wanted to, like for catitude and whatnot, this is one of those ones where you could most definitely, you know, trade out the sausage, the chicken sausage for, and now that I know what it's like, you could definitely use tofu in this because the cream sauce that you're using would more than, um, more than coat the tofu and give it, you know, give it the flavor. So this is actually one you could totally you could totally trade out the chicken sausage for tofu. Do it that way. Our friend Ken is asking, why isn't HelloFresh paying for you? Not paying <laughs> you for this yet. 
because we do not have enough subscribers yet. They're, that's a pretty big company, and they're looking for a lot more. If they're going to pay somebody to do their advertising, they, um, they're going to want a lot more, you know, more notification notoriety on a channel than what we have currently i'm hoping that we can get to a point where that will be a thing but for right now it's not going to deter me from suggesting this or showing this to you and sharing this with you guys because it's i like i said before i can't tell you this enough i have had hello fresh now since like i think i can't remember if it was june or july but it was either one of those two i have had them weekly entire time about 90% of my dinners is going to be HelloFresh. I mean, it's, this is when I'm on stream, when I'm not on stream. Because I literally love this stuff. And I'm not I'm not that person that's like, I'm not going to recommend something unless I'm getting paid to do it. No, I'm that person that if I find something that I think is really good and it can save you money and save you time and everything else, and it's, a, it's worth mentioning, I am completely 100% going to recommend it for you guys, no matter what. So at least you guys know, like I said before, I'm not sponsored. So you are getting a completely 100% honest, unsolicited opinion here. I'm not somebody that's just telling you to get this because it's benefiting me. But here we are, plated up. That's what we got. Catitude says, I veganize a lot of recipes. And like I said, I mean, that's that I completely can see how this one you can definitely 100% trade out the chicken sausage for the tofu because it would totally work with this. But I'm going to give it a try. Mm. That is so good. That is so good. The sauce that you make in there is so creamy and so good, and it just sticks to everything. That would go great with the seasoning. It really would. I think you're right. No, I like this. This is really super good. So, again, HelloFresh, super easy. So, I mean, we've done some that were, that took like an hour to get through. Um, and we've done, like I said, vegan ones. And we'll, um, I'll look into a couple of vegetarian ones. And now we've done a really quick one. Maybe one of these days I will get, because they do have lunch, um, lunch options, breakfast options. Maybe... Uh, what I'll do is I'll start looking into getting maybe a couple of the breakfast ones and lunch ones just so we can change it up a little bit. Maybe I'll get a couple of breakfast ones for our for uh, the ones we when we do the brunch uh, streams. That sounds fun. Yeah. <laughs> Show you guys what it's like to get the brunch and the, the, the breakfast and the lunch ones because they're all really good. Cammy, hey everyone, so sorry I'm late. I was outside taking care of yard keys. You are never late. Don't even worry about it. Hi, Cammy. <laughs> I'm really glad you're here, Cammy. Thank you for jumping in here. So. Let's see. Do we have any reminders? I'm trying to think. Well, we do. Ooh, I mean, it cool. might, might take me a half a second because okay. I'm I'm streaming on a the one, yeah, the one the one reminder I just want to make sure I just make sure you guys remember is that next week I will be working, like I said. So it's gonna be it's gonna be kind of a slow week next week for you guys because we're not gonna have um we're not gonna be doing our normal schedule, but we will have some things up for you guys. This and weekend. Tomorrow we will have our members only stream and just uh, just to remind everybody, we will not be doing a deep dive on any cats tomorrow because on Sunday we're doing our Let's Chat Live and um, on that day we are going to do a deep dive for everybody into my cat Farah who passed away about a year and a half ago, so about a year before the channel started. But like I told you guys before, she's got a very powerful and a very wonderful and heartwarming story. And I really want to share it with everybody. And it's also my opportunity to finally put, put that to rest and close that chapter out. Because I've been hanging on and um, it's time. It's time to just let that go and move forward. Um, obviously, I will never forget her. I'll never stop loving her. I will. That's not what it's about. It's just about letting go of things that need to be let, let go of so I can move on. So, yeah, so that's what we're doing this weekend. Um, oh, let's see. I'm trying to think. Kim, Kim and Jen, I ordered my kitty mug and pink bling tea. Yay, I'm so glad. Yay. I hope you like them. I really do. I really hope you like them. There's, the, yep, the bonfire. There's bonfire. Yep. Yep. Thank you, Cammie. 
Yeah, thank you, Cami. I really appreciate that. I really hope you guys like them. I really do. Oh, and um, <clears throat> I had an idea. So since we're not doing a deep dive into a kitty um tomorrow, mm -hmm. I was trying to think, what can we do instead? Well, one of the things we had talked about before is that um <laughs> is that uh I have poor impulse control, especially when it comes to things that are pink. So I think what I might do tonight, Jenna, if you're okay with this. I might go through the house and just take some pictures of some of just the most pointless, dumbest impulse buys I've made that are just, yes, they're cute things, but <laughs> they're things I didn't need. They're things that just sit here and collect dust because there's no use for them, but I bought them because they're pink. Maybe what we'll do is we'll do a deep dive into why Kim doesn't belong into in Walmart tomorrow. <laughs> that sounds fun. We'll get okay. to play a little show and tell. <laughs> yeah, I will walk around the house and I will get some um I will get yeah. some pictures of some of the more pointless things that I have laying around the house. <laughs> and why I should be stopped. <laughs> and all the pink things give. I know I love listen, I'm telling you. I will take some pictures. I will get those to you. Um, if I get them to you first thing in the morning, Jenna, would that be too late or too hard for you? No, no, that's fine. Okay, all right. In the morning, it'd be perfect. Yeah. yeah, I'll take the pictures tonight, and I will get them either in an email to you tonight, or I'll get them to you first thing in the morning. And yeah, maybe that's what we'll, that's our deep dive into why Kim doesn't belong in, in Walmart. Yeah, that sounds fun. <laughs> I have many, many reasons around here. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, Wanda, that's actually a good idea, Wanda. Maybe I can launch the Armchair Cat Advocate next week. We figure out. A way to go live without a set number of subs, maybe just a live stream talking about cat related issues. You know, Wanda, um, just so you know, even though I won't be home, if you want to do that, we can do that. And um, if you want to hold up, we'd have to hold off the live stream until I get off work one of those days. But I am totally down for that. Yeah, we could definitely do a live stream and start that channel. Oh, and uh, <laughs> well, Wanda also says, but Kim, you did really good in Walmart the other day. Yes. Now, let me show you something. So I went to, I told you guys this. I went to Walmart for paper towel and, uh, and coffee. I went in there. I got paper towel and coffee, and I walked right back out. And I did not get anything else. I was very proud of myself. And I was talking to Wanda on the phone, and, she, and I said, I almost wanted to buy myself a treat for that. But that would have gone against the whole point. So she, and she, she, said, she said, you deserve cheesecake. I was like, I do deserve cheesecake. She goes, see, now tomorrow you should go to Walmart and just get cheesecake. I'm like, no, because that's a slippery slope. We're not going down. I'm not going to reward myself every day by going to Walmart and getting something I'm not supposed to be getting. But what ended up happening was the next day I stopped by Diana's house because I got her an Easter present. And um, <laughs> I got there and she said, oh, my gosh, I'm so glad you're here. I have something for you. She had cheesecake for me. <laughs> and she had no clue about any of this. She just happened to have cheesecake there for me. And I was like, oh, my God, I got my cheesecake. Yay. <laughs> so I guess Wanda and I, like, put it out there in the universe, and it came to me. So there That's go. so funny. I saw that comment from Wanda just today <laughs> as well. That is so yeah. funny. What a coincidence. Yeah. Um. So I just, I've got to grab this one comment real quick. This one. That was my first inventory job. No, yeah. Actually, my first inventory job was with RGIS. RGIS um, actually got bought out by WIS. So, yes, it's still, they still have it as a, it's like a, they still call it RGIS, but it is now owned by WIS. It was sold off a couple, of few years ago. But yeah, no, that was my, actually my first inventory job. How I started in that, in that business was actually with RGIS. So it's really weird. It's really funny that you brought that up. Gertrude. Hi, Gertrude. So glad you could make it. <laughs> so, yeah. So um, I used to work there back in like, oh, nine. You're kidding. Really? So I, I didn't start doing inventory until I think I want to say 2016. Hi, Marvels. 2016 was when I first started doing um <coughs> inventory. So, yeah, that was. Oh my God, eight years ago. Holy cow. It's been that long already. So I think it's really interesting that you actually worked at RJIS and, and did that job that I do now. Yeah, that's cool. I'm glad you shared that. Thank you, Nanya. I'm really, really, really happy that somebody else understands the, the inventory business. Oh, so 
I got my cheesecake. I got my Cadbury cream egg. <laughs> I got my dinner. I got all my little kitties. I got all you guys hanging out with me. You know what? Life is uh life is pretty damn good right now. I can't, I don't, I don't, I can't think of anything else that would make me happy right now. <laughs> We're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> Kimmy says, I'm obsessed with pale pink. I need those pots. Kim has, I really do. Like I said, um, if you were gonna get them, so my what I did when I first moved down here, I didn't have any pots and pans. So I went to Walmart, found um, it was the green. I thought, what are they called? The Green Company, I think. Hang on, let me look. I just want to make sure I got the right name. Uh, green Life. It's called Green Life. So I got the Green Life set. Now, they worked really good for a while. I was really happy with them. And they're the pale pink. But the um, the nonstick coating, six months, and the nonstick coating is pretty much non-existent anymore. So they're those are my, like, backup pans when all my other ones are, are like, dirty. So... I went back and I bought a new set and I got the pink diamond um, ceramic ones. And those are phenomenal. You can use metal utensils in them and it doesn't scratch them up or wreck it. Um, the way they're made, the nonstick coating doesn't wear off. So if you're going to get them, I would suggest personally the pink diamond set from Walmart because it's only like, I got them on sale for 88 bucks. I think regular price, they're like 98. So it was only $10 off, but still, they're still like under $100. And you get a lot. One, two, three. I think you get six pans plus all the lids. So it's a, and you also get spatulas and spoons and slotted spatulas and slotted spoon. Yeah, these, the wooden ones that I use, these are all the ones that come with that set. So yeah, so if you're going to get them, get that set. I let, I'm really happy with them. I've had them for a while. You know, there's nothing you can do about the bottom getting scorched after a while because it's just, it's heat, but it's pretty minimal. Um, hang on. I'll show you what I mean. Sorry. I'm reaching over you guys. Hang on. So like I said, the bottom can get scorched after a while. Can you see that? I don't even know if you can. You can see right here, there's a little bit of a scorch mark, but it's really super minimal. So, I mean, if you want something that's going to stand up to everything, I would strongly suggest the Pink Diamond ones. And for those of you that are not necessarily pink fans, they do have the blue ones, they have green ones, and they have a plain black set, black and silver. So, yeah. <laughs> the KitchenAid mixer. That thing is so damn expensive, though. A couple hundred bucks. I'm not spending a couple hundred bucks on a KitchenAid mixer. Listen, they've got other ones that aren't KitchenAid. I know that they're not that great, um, but I mean, I don't use them that often, so it might actually be worth it to get an off brand. I'm sorry, I'm bad. Who is that on the stove? Oh, this is Marbles. Marbles, hello, baby boy. He's my little supervisor. He likes to sit out here when I'm cooking. And as you saw, he's actually one of the ones that's really good about knowing when the bean protector is not on the stove, he doesn't get on the stove. So. Yeah, because he was over there on the cat tree the whole time. And then all of a sudden I put this on here. He's like, okay, my turn to get over here. I'm getting them. Hubby told me to order them. Oh my God. Yay, Cammy. I'm so happy. That's awesome. Do me a favor. Once you get them and you use them and stuff, I want you to just, just keep me posted and let me know what you think of them. Cause I really am a huge fan of the of the diamond sets. So actually, Catitude, I was gonna watch him until Kim came on at six by last track of time. <laughs> You guys are so adorable. I just love you guys. You guys are fun. So, all right. Well, there we go. We're all done with dinner. And I'm really, I really want to eat because I'm really, really hungry. And yes, Mr. McMarbles. Doodlebug, you want to come say hi again? Doodles? Nope, Doodles is busy now. Pebbles, would you like to say hi? Oh, Pony wants to say hi. Hang on, guys. I'm going to get Pony. I know, man. Come here. Come here, honey, baby. Come here, my sweet girl. There's my fling. Here's my little fring fring. This is my fring fring. Yeah. So just so you guys know, next month is Feline's birthday. Feline here will be 15 years young next month, officially. Yeah, officially 15 years young. Look at that face. Look at that baby face. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Too but soon? Yeah. Too soon? No, 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 never too soon. 
But yeah, next month is her 15th birthday. So um, yes, she's an old lady, but she certainly does not act like it. And she certainly does not look like it. I, and she can, I don't know if you guys can hear her, but she is just literally standing down here. Just bow, bow, bow. <laughs> People, do you want to come say hi? We could hear her. <laughs> she's, just, she's literally sitting at my feet right now, just staring up at me. Just bow, bow. <laughs> There's doodles. Doodles, do you want to come and say hi? Yeah, there we go. Good girl. Oh, there's my big girl. And again, see how she sits? One leg's in back, one leg's in front, and this is how she wants to sit. She is literally a child, aren't you? Are you a little child? You are a little child. You are a good child, though. You're a good girl. She's so good. She's such a good girl. Aren't you? You are a good girl. Yeah. I know, Wayne. I hear you. I see you. I know. We all said hi. No, we all said hi now. All right, let's see. I wasn't sure if the meows were her or recording again. <laughs> no, that's been Feline. That is literally, I don't think Jenna has played really any cat meows so far. No, none nope. today. Oh, just the, the, the funny ones. Yeah. Yep. All the meows you've been hearing has been Feline at my feet, just meowing at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Feline. She's so funny because she's like a little prairie dog. She sits on her back legs and she stands up. So she's just like standing like this, looking at me, meowing. It's so funny. Feline, what? I don't wink at me, girl. Did you wink? You did wink. You're so cute. All right, guys. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to eat my dinner and my dessert. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I enjoyed having you guys here. Thank you for joining me in the kitchen. Thank you for supporting the channel for you know, all you guys do. What gift does Clean want, Kim? I just love her. I don't know. I don't know what she'd want. Clean, we'll have to talk about it. We'll have to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> um. But I just, yeah, I just want to just emphasize how much I appreciate all you guys' support all this, you know, for the last seven months. This has been a ride and a half. This has literally been such a wild ride. I have had so much fun with you guys. I have learned so much from you guys. This has been one of the funnest things I've ever done in my life. So you guys just are wonderful. And I thank you guys for making this everything it is. So I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.